I came to Phil with a few ideas, actually. Oh. So I came to him with, with a few I different like ideas. And um, and he obviously loves you because you worked at Evernote. You were part of the founding team. Yeah, I was, I was there from the very beginning. We worked really closely together. I was one of the eight or nine people or so who basically ran the company. Yep. Um, and Phil and I got along mostly well Good. all those years. You know, but <laughs> actually, no, we we became we became really close friends uh, throughout that time. Uh, and I came to him and I had a few different ideas. And I think. Uh, I think his initial reaction, and I'm not 100% sure, but I think his initial reaction was that this one seems too hard. That some of the other ideas were a little bit simpler, maybe uh, more direct, uh, less risk, but this one seems a little bit too out there. But um, this is the idea that I fell in love with the most. This mm. is the idea which I felt that I want. The what was your next best idea? What, which one was like the next one as an entrepreneur? It's interesting when entrepreneurs have a couple of ideas. What was the one you said, mm, I kind of like that one, but not good enough. Give me the general idea. Um, so there's, there's a few. So I had one um, that I wanted to create a service which helps companies gauge uh, how, uh, how happy the employees are in the company. Ah, I have an investment, 15 to 5. That does that. Oh, great. There's, yeah. I found a few other companies that do that as well. My approach to it was unique, which is oh. why I'm not going to reveal it today. Okay, because you may need that <laughs> when you get to 100 employees. You can just might, deploy it in-house. Might need to, might need to do that. So, and you could spin it out. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so I had, I had a, an interesting way of assessing indirectly of mm. how happy people are in the company, and I wanted to see if I can build it as a service. And actually, I think Phil was quite partial to that idea. I had another idea which had to do with a home... Uh, kind of a home gardening appliance that mm. was work uh, that I talked to another friend of mine with, um, but I have no gardening or farming experience, and so that wasn't something that um, that I was going to pursue. And you also don't own you own fourteen drones, so let's be honest here. Your passion is with drones. Yeah, on your own. Yeah. With all this money you made selling your Evernote stock in secondary, I'm joking. Well, maybe a little bit. Who knows? A little bit. It's nice to have an employee <laughs> can sell a little bit in secondary. You bought fourteen drones. You probably spent 10 dimes. You've been 10, what do you spend, 10, 20 grand on drones so far? Personally? Yeah, I would say so, easy. Yeah. Wow. Just a couple of, a uh, couple of the um, uh, uh, phantoms which I have are like 1,500 a piece. Yeah. So, yeah. so l getting back to. Um, but so, so but to, to answer oh, your question. Oh, back to what was his, yeah. back to that. What was his initial reaction? He didn't like it. He liked it. He needed so, to be convinced. I think he needed to be convinced a little bit uh, initially as we talked about it. But as we kept talking about it, what kind of, what became more obvious is that this was an intersection of, of a new technology, which is up and coming and a new way to use this technology in right. a market, which is, which is growing, you know, basically. Uh, home automation. Drones, home automation. Yeah. Just gen generally smart home. And then also a market, which is ripe for disruption, you know, market mm -hmm. of professional home security which effectively hasn't innovated, hasn't done anything interesting, yet it's a huge and lucrative market. Mm. And, and this, this intersection, I think, is what got Phil and other investors excited because you can see how a lot of the companies which, I don't know, take, uh, take Uber, right? Yeah. So like Uber is a company which is doing something kind of, oh, at the time was doing something kind of crazy, but in a market which is huge and lucrative and basically hasn't moved. And so it gives you this, gives you this chance for disruption. Because home security has been ADT, Sure. And a bunch of upset people signing huge contracts with them and yeah. not getting great service. I mean, at least that's what I kind of it, felt. A, it's a universal need. Everybody feels yeah. they want to have it. Yeah. Everybody ends up lo looking out there to get something. There is a handful of companies which own majority of the market. Mm. They all have extremely low reviews if you look at Yelp or something like that yeah. in terms of experience. And if you... If you just look at the state of technology, it hasn't changed. Mm. You know, it's in the last 30 years. It's hard to spot the difference between what a home security system was 30 years ago and what it is today. Hey, everybody. I want to tell you about a new product I've been using at my house and that I love. It's called Blue Apron. Yes, Blue Apron sends you a box with all the ingredients you need to make delicious food, to make a meal. It sounds a little weird at first. Like, oh, they're going to send you a box with dinner in it. It's not pre-cooked meals. No. This is portioned out recipes with a beautiful card with exactly the right amount. And what I love about this is when we were making General Tso's chicken, which I never knew how to make General Tso's chicken, but that's one of my favorite dishes. In fact, when I go for Chinese food, it's probably the number one dish I order, that and the walnuts uh, with the, you know, the walnut shrimp. I love that. But anyway, back to General Tso's. It had all the different ingredients perfectly portioned out. So following the recipe was easy. Then... We made Sicilian pizza. My daughter went crazy. She kept saying, Dad, you make the best pizza in the world. You're number one at making pizza. Again, the dough came prepackaged. Everything came with the perfect portion sizes, so it's affordable. 
There's a ton of variety. It's super flexible. It's easy, and they have a freshness guarantee. If you ever have any problems, they just solve your problems. You know how these direct-to-consumer products work. They have to make it work for consumers or else consumers leave or consumers don't tell their friend. So all they do is optimize to make it perfect and amazing and to delight you. And Blue Apron has been delightful for us in my household. And, you know, they are very much into high-quality ingredients. That's what makes the difference. They have partnerships with 150 local farms, fisheries, and rancheries across the United States. Their seafood is all sourced sustainably. The, and those standards were developed with the uh, Monterey Bay Aquarium Seafood Watch. Beef, chicken, pork are from responsibly raised animals. The produce is sourced from farms practicing regenerative farming. It's so easy. I know Jackie made the catfish and potato latkes, which are one of my favorite. I think I'm pronouncing that correct. So here's your call to action. Go ahead and uh, get your first three meals free. Your first three meals free with shipping. Go to blueapron.com slash twist blueapron.com slash twist. You are going to love it. It's uh, just delicious and it's easy. And I would say it takes two thirds of the agony out of making dinner. So the only part that's left is that one third of delightful time of assembling the meal, making it fresh for your family, takes 10, 20 minutes, whatever it is. But you take out that arduous hour of preparing the proper sizes and measuring things and going to the store. It is easy and delicious. It tastes great. And uh, I'm being sincere here. Listen, I'm using it now and I use it for two or three meals a week and it's wonderful. My daughter loves it. We, she helps us pick what we're going to order. And then you have this beautiful card that explains to you, like somebody's really working on the recipes. Who's so ever doing the recipes at Blue Apron, thumbs up, two thumbs up. You really make it simple. That's what I love about it. It's so simple, so fresh, so easy. Go to blueapron.com slash twist. Okay, let's get back to this amazing episode. Mm-hmm. 